So in this moment, I have an SM57 on the left side and this is an Audio-Technica AT2020. I figure out to keep a distance of around five inches from the two mics to the body of the guitar. And the two of them are at three times five inches, so around 15 inches. Today is Thursday and I have all my gear set up to record a bit of acoustic guitar for the song for Simone. Simone sent me uh, a chart the other day and what we came up with is essentially three different parts for guitar. I spent a bit of time yesterday practicing what I thought could work on the song. I basically write again the parts that I originally came up with on Sunday just because in order to better record what I had in mind, some of those fingerings and the positions were a bit weird, so I had to review a bit of that. But now everything seems to work, and the only thing that I had to check today was the way that I wanted to record the acoustic guitar. What I came up with is this sort of a two mic solution. Let me see if I can show you what I'm up to. So in this moment, I have an SM57 on the left side, and this is an Audio-Technica AT2020. I figure out to keep a distance of around five inches from the two mics to the body of the guitar. And the two of them are at three times five inches, so around 15 inches. Now from this angle, you should be able to see at least a tiny bit of the mics and where they're placed. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the SM57 pointing towards the 12th fret but with a sort of an angle whilst the Audio Technica is pointing kinda in between the sound hole and the bridge of the guitar and just to make sure that I keep a distance of around 5 inches I have this to double check that so I think it's time for me to give it a go I have the parts that I wrote in front of me on my screen let's do this I think I'm done. So let me just show you guys what I got here. Let me start from the actual part that I was playing. Basically that is how I thought about the different sections. The best way to move throughout the course without buzzing too much on the fretboard. That's one of the tricky things to do with acoustic guitar. So most of the times those chord names is because I try to be clever with my chord changes and just making sure that I could move just one two notes at a time in between different sections. Here is the way that I worked with three inputs basically because what is happening is that I have the SM57, the Audio Technica and the direct line from my guitar. So from a mixing point of view I'm sending those three inputs to a specific to the bass that I call guitar and I'm using this which is the final audio track that Simon sent me with the parts from the keyboard player. Alright guys, this should be it for the moment. I have to say that the trickiest part was definitely the central sections with semi curvers because it was quite tricky to come up with fingerings that could allow me to play every note and get some sort of even result. That's what I tried to practice yesterday. And just to make sure that everything was working today, I took that part and I just practiced even more and eventually I recorded three different takes there just to make sure that I have a bit of a choice 
when it comes the time to send the tracks over to, to Simon. 